ain't been switch. broke in a minute. Nah, nah, I tryna run these digits. Nah, nah, Put my little bro on the pin. Nah, nah, we hop out the car with extensions. Nah, nah, these niggas be pistols, they switchin'. Nah, 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 Playin' with bro, then you go on the mission. Me and my niggas, we all on the mission. Focus on money, ain't worry about bitches. Looks like Mobile Legends finally made it, man. Other MOBAs are stealing from Mobile Legends now. The tables have turned. If y'all was here from the beginning, man, like season one, you know how much came from other games. Nowadays, Mobile Legends is the one games is copying? That's crazy, let's check it out. Have you felt that same hero reminds of MLBB from different MOBA games? Or whenever you see some clips from Honor of Kings, your mind just goes, why is Granger dressed up as Clint? And wait, is he using Claude's ultimate? No, actually, actually, we stole Clint from them. <laughs> we stole Clint from them. Hi guys, Kazuki here. And in this video, let's look at 10 heroes from Honor of Kings who are very similar to Mobile Legends Bang Bang. Note. I'm pretty sure we all know that it is a common practice for every MOBA game to take inspiration from each other. So it is better we look at heroes and see what we can improve in ML rather than spreading hate for taking inspiration. With that out of the way, let's jump straight into the video. The first hero we are going to take a look at will be Jilong. And yes, he is very similar to our Jilong from Mobile Legends Bang Bang. Yes, both of these characters are inspired by Zhao Yun from Chinese history. Can you blame a Chinese company if it makes a hero based on a Chinese legend? <laughs> them being inspired Fair. by the same legend, it means they will have a similar hero models and the weapons they use. I mean, just look at them side by side, they are very similar. Let's look at the similar skills. First, we have Jilong's passive and HOK is Jilong's second skill. You can see how similar they are. They both even give out HP, which is sus. The other skill that is similar in between both of them would be Jilong's second skill and HOK Jilong's first. I do have to say that HOK Jilong doesn't lock onto a target and the skill doesn't reset whenever you kill something with it, but they are very similar. But overall, I do have to say I prefer HOK Jilong as he is strong. Moontoon, take notes for both improvement and potential copyright. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's move on to the next hero from HOK, Marco Polo. Who is similar to Granger, He's Claude, a beast. and Clint from MLBB. While creating Marco Polo, then... If you didn't know this, early on in season one, or yeah, the earlier seasons, Clint actually had this exact ultimate. This was Clint's ultimate. Like, he used to do this exactly. Vincent just went... <laughs> Let's take these characters and merge them into one. Whenever you look at the hero model, it should remind you of the old Clint. I mean two guns and that smile, who else could it be? Now let's take a look at the similar skills. Here is the first skill of Marco Polo. Who does it remind you of? If your answer is anything other than Granger, you are no ML fan. Here is the side by side comparison. Just look at them. Just look how similar they are. I do agree that Marco Polo fires more bullets, but from the way they turn and how they can move around while shooting are very similar. Now let's check out the ultimate of Marco Polo. Guys, if that's not Claude's ultimate, then what else could it be? I know it works a bit differently compared to Claude as I did play a couple of matches with him. Yeah. And they people don't even know, like people don't even know that that ultimate was in the game before Claude even existed. They didn't know that Clint literally used to look like this, used to play like this. Like, he was reworked a lot to be made original after the whole lawsuit that took place. Come on, Tencent. Why would you rip off a rip off? The next hero we are looking into would be Mulan and Lapu Lapu. These guys, to be honest, are different. Everything from the gender to character is different. The only similarity they have is the way the ultimate of both of them works. The way it works is that the swords get merged into one and all the skills are enhanced and deal more damage. The hero also becomes a bit slow and the basic attack animation is very slow. That remind me of a little ballman. Similar to our beloved a little um, Lancelot. Some are similar, but they work differently. 
for this reason, I wouldn't really count it. I'll do some damage. The next hero I would like to introduce would be mine from HOK, and I think she's very similar to Chao. Chao's first skill has a no cuff, and mine's first skill also has a no cuff. Chao's ultimate has a kick that sends you airborne. Mine's enhanced second skill send you flying after shake it. I would just like to say that Chao potentially can <laughs> date a girlfriend. So Moontoon, hook my boy up. <laughs> Joke aside, mine is one of the most fun heroes I have ever played. I just love her playstyle. I would definitely love to play her out more. Comment down below if Aspire. you would like to see a video on her. The next hero I would like to show you guys would be Sima Yi and Hanzo. How similar is it? A ghost or demon facing out of body? I mean, your eyebrows are raised after seeing this. But Sima Yi is how a Hanzo should be. I just love the way they handled. Ghost facing out of body while still making his normal body useful. So Moontoon, if you aren't taking notes by now, it's better you start doing it now. Next, let's check out the next hero, Jing and Nathan. Okay. They are vastly different heroes with different skills, but every time I play her, she reminds me of Nathan's ultimate so much. From the way her clone moves and does everything opposite to the hero. It has the ability to teleport or sweep places with the clone, just like Nathan and his ultimate. They are very similar from at least what I see. Oh, she's saying way better. Next, let's check out Prince of Landing and Natalia. To be honest, there are many differences between this. Bro, their logos are even the same. It's wild. I didn't even notice. I didn't notice Mobile Legends they made their logo similar. To be honest, there are many differences between this. I do think Prince of Landing is more inspired from Jade in LOL rather than Natalia. I mean, you could tell that just by looking at each other. But the one similar thing that both Natalia and Prince of Learning would share is that they both go into this stealth mode where nobody can target you. Similar to Leslie's first skill. I'm not really going to Leslie as an example, as Leslie is just too different from Prince of Learning, but I do think Learning and Natalia share some similarities. Next, we have Guan Yu and Leo Mode. Guan Yu, unlike Leo Mode, is always riding his horse, and his ultimate and passive works a bit differently. Other than that, it's just Leo Mode, if you ask me. Just look at the enhanced basic attack of Guan Yu and Leo Mode's enhanced second skill, they look so similar, don't they? And the way he swings his spear is also similar to Leo Mode. I do think Guan Yu and Leo Mode are very similar. And next, we have Valir and John Yu. I know that them just using fire doesn't make them similar, but the one similarity I do see is John Yu's third skill and Wally's seconds, the animation is just too close, just to ignore. It doesn't have that annoying knockback, but just look at them side by side. If HOK didn't have better graphics, people would have just assumed that John Yu is a new skin of Valir. Finally, we have Dio Chan and Harry. The knockback is better. Knockback is better for sure. Mobile Legends got be Guys, some good heroes. I'm not going to lie, apart from the gender and skill animations, the differences between Dio Chen and Herith are very less. I mean, she has an ultimate, which when cast, creates a John. Where your first skill and second skill's cooldown are reduced in the skills. One is Dash and one is an AoE damage skill. If that's not Herith, then who is it? I know that there are more characters like Fei and Liu Shan who are very similar to MLBB characters, 
so don't worry there is a part to coming just wait for a bit so guys what are some other heroes you want me to include in part 2 which game do you prefer more mlbb or honor of kings comment MLBB down all your thoughts for sure. and opinions below so that will be all for this video thank you guys for watching keep supporting cosby official What's crazy is there was a point in time where Mobile Legends wasn't as good as it is right now. And I used to always say I want Mobile Legends to be like Honor of Kings. Now, fast forward five years later and Mobile Legends is actually better. It's crazy. In my opinion, I think that is better. It's like they've, they've done a great job changing things around and making it so much better than it used to be. Because back, back when I first joined the community... Nah, it wasn't that great, man. It wasn't that great um, in comparison to Honor of Kings. Now, it's really, really good. So, yeah, that being said, y'all, let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.